So I went out last night and I don't really plan on leaving my bed at all today. Any time I go out and like have a drink, it absolutely screws me over the next day. Even if it's literally just one drink, it doesn't matter. Like I just get completely screwed over the next day. So as you can see, I am facing the consequences of going out last night today. I was reading my new book. It's called The Bell Jar. I literally have been trying to find this book everywhere. Like everyone I know has read it. And I was like, I feel so left out. I just wanted to read this damn book. I drove like an hour away to go find the book just to find out that they don't have it. And to make the situation even better, the lady in the bookstore was like, you shouldn't read this. It's Christmas. It's really depressing. Like, why are you so depressed? And I was like, fuck you. Anyways, now that that's all out of my system, I have been just loving reading recently. And I know it's kind of just like become a trend that everyone should read, but at least it's like a good trend. You know, it's not like anything harmful. If anything, reading is really good. Well, obviously reading is really good. What am I saying? See, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I don't go out. I also desperately need to find a outfit for New Year's. It is December 21st. New Year's is in 10 days. Did I do my math right? Right? It's on the 31st. Or is it 30? New Year's is in 10 days, people. This lighting is literally atrocious. I got up to do my laundry because if I don't do it now, it will be sitting here all week. And I figured, you know, since I'm home all day, <laughs> that maybe I should like do some chores and you know what? You guys can join me if you're seeing this. Do your fucking laundry. I know you got a chair in your room with a bunch of sweaters piled up on it. Go fix that shit. When you're done watching this video, let's talk about a TV show that I watch. This TV show is called Selling Sunset. It's on Netflix. If you've seen it, let's literally talk about it. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. I'm obsessed with it. Every time I do my laundry or clean my room or do like any type of chore, I put on Selling Sunset. I've literally watched this show a million times. I have it on right now. I just have the volume turned down. Anytime I do chores, I literally just put this show on and like keep re-watching it. I don't know why, but it's like so addicting. So I painted this like a few weeks ago. It's supposed to be like flowers in a vase. I don't even know if you could tell, but I'm kind of just like coloring it in with a black fine tip pen. I don't really know. A fine line pen. I'm kind of just like doodling on it, but I'm having, I'm having a lot of fun doing this, honestly. I just like love it when art is really messy and doesn't really make any sense when you look at it. I painted this like, I don't even know, a couple months ago maybe, and it literally just looks so bad, but for some reason I just like really like that. <laughs> really leave the house today, but like I said, I don't really think that that's gonna happen. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little emotional right now. I might cry. Off camera. I'm just checking to see if I still look hot when I cry. So yesterday, I was trying to find like some candles to light. I'm always lighting candles. I was trying to find some candles. So we were digging in like a drawer and I ended up finding so many old photos of myself. It just like really made me emotional. I don't know why, but it did. Tell me you don't get emotional seeing these little baby ballet slippers. These are like low-key brand new. You know, when you're like two years old doing ballet, you don't really break in a ballet shoe. like. Look at this, it's like a fucking board. But anyways, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to show you guys 
It's just so crazy to me. Like, I've danced for basically my whole life, and I don't know. These are just so cute. I want to put them somewhere. Okay, I am most definitely not leaving the house today. I keep forgetting to put my mic on this camera. Like, this is gonna be the third video I've posted without a mic on, and I sincerely apologize. So, as you guys know, I live in Canada. It is Tuesday, December 21st, and everything closed out again. The club, okay, not everything, I'm being really fucking dramatic, but. The clubs closed down again, and now I have no idea what I'm doing for New Year's. We had like a set plan in place. We were planning on getting like a nice hotel, going to the club, and just like being reckless teenagers. But since we don't know what the fuck is going on anymore, we don't know if the clubs are gonna continue to stay open. Some of them are saying that they're gonna be open till 11 p.m. Some are saying that they're gonna be open till 12 a.m. I have no idea. All I know is that I still need an outfit because I still will be taking Instagram photos. So basically, I wanted this jumpsuit. I seen it on Depop, $55, literally stunning, literally amazing. I thought it wasn't too much. I could also just kind of wear it to any special event. And the girly has not answered me. I hate when people have Depop accounts and it's like active a week ago and I'm like, babe, I need you now, not a week ago. I need you right now. I have another dress in mind. It's from Bamba Swim, Bamba Swim, bitch, I don't know. I've honestly been wanting their like black halter dress for a long time now and someone on Depop is selling it for 150. I got it down to 125, free shipping. So that's kind of like my second option if this girl doesn't answer me. Yeah, I mean, this dress is like super cute and I can never find stuff in my size, but this one is in my size, thank you God. Okay, my friend says she thinks I should add like a little chain moment. She sent me like a Dolce & Gabbana waist chain, but I don't think Depop's just gonna like have one up there. There's a Dior one for like $200. Um, what else do we have? Black Bamba swim dress and a gold waist chain. Do we think that that'll look cute? I'm kind of scared. Wait, I just got some cute earrings in too that could go with the dress. Did we just make a New Year's outfit? It's kind of an expensive New Year's outfit. I was really wishing to like not spend that much money because I want to go to New York in a few months. But I mean, oh well, what can we do, right? fully about to buy that Bamba swim dress and then I got out of the shower and I just have random spots of acne on my back which has like never really happened before and since we're like 10 days away from New Year's I had a complete mental breakdown over it but then I kind of just realized that nobody is perfect and that sounds dumb but it's true. Like, I'm sure Kendall Jenner gets the odd pimple. So I think I'm gonna buy the dress. 